Hello class, welcome again to numerical methods and analysis. This time, uh, we'll be in the open methods or the non-bracketing methods. To be specific, we'll have these three methods to discuss. Simple fixed point iteration, newton raphson method, and the second method. Now, before we start with the three, let's first compare um, our topic um, this time, that's open methods, versus our topic previously in lecture three, that's bracketing methods. The bracketing methods, namely the bisection method and the false position method, are based on a graphical insight. In these methods, the roots the root is located within an interval, as you can see here, XL and XU. Um, within this interval is the root. Now, repeated application um, of this of the bracketing methods always results in closer estimates of the true value of the root, as you can see um, in this progression. Such methods are said to be convergent because they move closer to the truth as the computation progresses. In contrast, the open methods um, described in this lecture series are based on formulas. So if in if the bracketing methods are based on graphical insight, this one is based on formulas, the open methods. They are based on formulas that require only a single starting value of x or two starting values that do not necessarily bracket the root. As such, they sometimes diverge or move away from the true root as the computation progresses. This is shown, um, this kind of weakness is shown in this figure. So, and down in your xi1, then if I can do it, then ang sa sunod na po dayon, wala na. Ning, dayo, ning layo na po, mas ni layo na din siya. Sa imohang true root. Okay? So, ang open method to so say, maingan niya siya. However, kung ang open methods put kay mo diverge, just like this one in figure C. They do so much more quickly than the bracketing methods. Mm -hmm. So kung mo di, ang B, ayun na, ang, ang open methods, na siya um, tendency nga mo diverge, pero kung mo converge mo gani siya, paspas kayo siya. So, only advantage ni open methods over kay bracketing methods. Kay bracketing methods, dapat Kuan man dapat naka uh, within sa imong interval ang atong root. So basta ingana given nga within the interval ang mahang root converge gyud sa. Pero kini pero medyo hinay ni, eh. mas daghan daghan iteration. Pero ang kining sa open methods, though na ay tendency nga mo diverge pero kung mo converge man gani, pas pas gyud sa. Okay, so having said that, let's now discuss the different methods for solving the roots, and we'll start with simple fixed point iteration. To develop a formula to predict the root using the simple fixed point um, iteration, we can just manipulate the function f of x equal to zero such that x is on the left hand side of the equation. That is, we have to manipulate f of x equal to zero. Aron mahi mo siyang x equal to g of x. So, for example, if we have x squared minus 2x plus 3, kibali mo na sa f of x equal to 0, then we can simply add x at both sides. So, mahi mo siyang x equal to x squared minus x. Kaya nag-add x man ka. So, negative 2x plus x. So, negative x na lang. Plus 3. Or we can also manipulate this one. Can you see f of x? Such that, may mo siyang x equal to x squared plus 3 over 2. Kumbaga, ang kiniatura na yung gibalhin si x squared o si 3. Ano no, si negative 2x at ang gibalhin dito si pikas. Then over 2 da yun. So, manan eh. x equal to x squared plus 3 over 2. However, ang mas, kung ano eh, mas dali ang i-implement okay, sa sa computer, sa, sa pag-code na nato, kay kini siya. Kini mag-adra ta dito so, x at both sides. Okay? So, another. Kasi ang makinis siya. Atong f of x kay si sin x. So, kung ingani mga ito, atong f of x equal to 0 kay ingani, sin x equal to 0, then you just have to add x at both sides. So, x equal to sin x plus x. 
Through this simple ano, manipulation, we now have a formula to predict a new value of x as a function of an old value of x. So, bali, kinidri ah, mani, ang, ang x ato dari, mani si, ang old na to ang value sa x, niya kini, mani ato ang gipredict ang new value. Okay. So, given an initial guess of at the root xi, okay, ne? the iterative formula, this one, can be used to uh, compute a new estimate xi plus 1. As with other iterative formulas, the approximate error for this equation can be determined using, again, this equation. Okay. Um, current minus previous over current. Ang okay. sudakod, aning simple fixed point. So, una, ang katong gi input sa imuhang user. So, imot ibutang sa katong um, xi plus 1. Na yun, si kanang, kanang uh, xi plus 1, muna yung mahimong ang previous. Na yun, kinina po na yun, so yung mga, ang xi plus 1 equal to g at ang previous yung xi. Then, iterate. Increase na itong iteration. Then, kung ang root is not equal to 0, then we compute for the for ea. Tapos, kung si ea kay less than es, and that is ang ito ang um, percent relative approximate error kay less than sa itong tolerance or ang ito ang iteration kay um, equal or greater than na sa itong maximum iteration ni allow na ito, then we exit. So, muna na end do, then fixed point is equal to so, muna ba alin ang ito ang um, final nga root estimate. Okay? Example ta. Determine the drag coefficient needed for a parachutist of mass 68.1 kilograms to have a velocity of 48 meters per second after free falling for 10 seconds. Acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. Stopping criterion is 0.5%. So again, mamani ang ato ang um, sani? ato ang ato ang equation, di ba? Uh, sa previous pang mga lecture, i-derive naman eh. Now, kini siya, pwede nga, kini, mamunay atong f of x, 667.38 over x, then kini lang expression minus 40 equal to 0. So, ang masayon ani ah, buhaton kay, mag-add na kag-x at both sides. So, mahimo siyang ingani. Kini na dari. Pero, pwede po siya maingani po. Okay? Nga x is equal to Kung baga, imo na i-transfer si 40 dito si Picas, then cross-multiply da yan ka. So, na kay x sa, is, um, sa right-hand side, then 66.38 over 40. Ano na dyan siya? 16.6845. Okay. So, pwede nga na. Pero, ang mas tayo na sa pag-code na, kay katurang mag-adra kag x at both sides. Okay. So, we'll use this one. So, mo na ni. Kinahanglan man nato sa ang atong kuan di ba atong um, form niya kay xi plus 1 is equal to gxi sa to pa ang kining nadiri a mo na to ang si g at xi na karon di ba kay katong ganina katong hanto ra kay negative 4 minus 40 mo ni si f of x niya ato na mang gi utro so mo na ni si g of xi dayon man nato gamiton to um, compute ang ato ang root estimate nga si xi plus 1 now, if we'll solve um, katong ganina nga equation using the fixed point iteration method um, gamit na based atong sudokod nga gipakita, then we will have these values. Okay? So, as you can see, um, it took 60 um, iterations. Ron makaabot sa uh, iyahang um, percent um, relative nga approximate error kay mo less than sa 0.5. And your know, final root estimate is 14.74.50.57. And that's it. Remember that you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Next time, um, we'll have the Newton-Raphson method. Thank you.